Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another Holidays in Hockey Town. Here we are with your Detroit Red Wings coming off a Stanley Cup final loss. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be saying that either. Um, but with all that in mind, you know, we're going to we're going to have a heck of an off season here. It's going to be it's going to be wild. We got a we got a long episode ahead of us, so I hope that you all brought some snacks. And you know, while you're up grabbing the snacks, uh, please consider hitting the like button, you know, maybe subscribing, you know, I'm not telling you you have to, but uh, it's very much appreciated. Uh, it helps the channel grow and, it, you know, it, it's very much appreciated uh, as, or to me specifically, because I very much, uh, it, it motivates me. It makes me know that you guys want to do more or want to see more of this. And if you guys want to see more of this, then heck, I'm more than happy to make some more of it. So uh, some guys that I want to offer contract extensions to, I think Dustin Brown could come back next year, but I don't want to sign him yet. Athanasiu and Fabry, I think, are both trade pieces, so I'd like to get them on deals. Um, with this in mind, I'm going to go ahead 3.85, so 0.85 times 0.85, looking at about 3. Point, we'll go 3.5. That sounds fair to me. 3.5 million dollars for Robbie Fabry. How about you, Athanasiu? Two years. I really like it more at one. Uh, 2.525 times 0.85, looking at about. We'll go 2.25. That seems fair. There you go, Athens to see you. Love it. Oli, Oli Mata, how much are you looking for? Um, we might, you know, honestly, I don't even mind. Well, what's our defensive core looking like? That's the thing, because because we gotta make some we gotta make some moves here. Uh, the only people that really need to stay is that we're gonna have Ronick and Cider in the system. Um, Edvinson's gonna be playing there. Wallander might he play, He's probably gonna play a year in the AHL. Hopefully York gets a jump. Uh, if he doesn't, then we will probably be looking to trade him as he is 22 at this point. So we'll we'll let Olimata sit um, for now because I think that he could be an interesting guy to bring back. Let's go ahead. Let's check the awards. Let's see who did what for us. Awards. Thank you. Uh, Chicago obviously won the Stanley Cup. Edmonton, the President's Trophy. Chicago, the Clarence S. Campbell. And we won the Prince of Wales individually Sebastian Ajo with the Art Ross and the Hart they kind of go hand in hand uh, and then we have Keith Yandel with the Norris wild there really wild Lady Bing going to Ajo Lucas Raymond with the Calder hopefully it happens like this in real life Patrick Kane with the Con Smythe uh, Craig Anderson with the Vesna Mike Smith with the Jennings Tana with the Masterston Master Masterton uh, Jack Adams going to Boro, the San Jose Sharks head coach. Sidney Crosby getting the Selkie. Ajo getting the Ted Lindsay. And Ovechkin cranking out yet another Maurice or Rocket or Richard in the AHL. Uh, I don't know his first name. Brisson, though. He gets that. I know he's a decent prospect. Uh, Formentin getting the Cunningham. Uh, Kent Johnson. Let's just see if there's any of our guys. No, not from the looks of it. Team wise, we got nothing. Cool, uh, not cool actually. It, it, it's very, very unfortunate. But you know, we we roll. So um, I think we're just gonna simulate up to the draft at this point. Fabry renewed and at Athanasiu renewed. So those are two guys that we're gonna be looking to deal uh, at the draft here to potentially move up. We got pick number two. What? And who was, who was the other one that we had? I thought we had Ottawa, but I guess not. Who else's pick do we have? Okay, let's go. We got to go to the... Ah, dude, what? Do we take Shane Wright? Do we oh, Do we take Shane Wright? Wayne Gretzky is as close to comparison. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. So Seamus Casey is a high top four potential. Uh, it's good to know. Oh, man, dude. Because there's so many guys here. If I could get, like, three picks in this range instead of two, I think I might do that. Because, like, we really – we just need a lot of prospects. Like, Logan Cooley, I think, would be really, really good to have. I think he'd be fun to have as well. Um, I've Like, everyone gets Shane Wright, so I don't really want to get Shane Wright. Franz Nielsen retires from us. That's unfortunate. Uh, in terms of goalies, nobody retired. Interesting. 
Let's look at games played, see if there's any defensemen that retired. Seabrook, I think he, I, I feel like I heard recently he got into coaching. Um, that's really the where the big names stop here. Cody McLeod, as much as it looks like McLeod. Yeah, Owen, I'm still upset about it. Uh, Franz Nielsen is now a coach. Cool. That's really cool, actually. He could potentially, if he works as a coach, that's that would be so much fun. I'm not even going to lie. I had one a while back where I had uh, uh, Joe Thornton on the Oilers, and he ended up turning into the perfect coach for them. So that was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so I, I, dude, we have so much to look at now. Because how are you, how are you a two-way forward, right? And you, your pro comparison is Vladimir Tarasenko. I'm going to call BS on that one. Shane Wright could be so good for us. Um, I mean, we got the pick fairly, too. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, though. Because, like, we... I I really like the idea of trading down. I really do. But we better... We're going to get a King's Ransom if we trade down. I want to see... Who, where's our other pick? Draft board. Um, projected picks. Oh, we got the Krakens pick. That's right. So 29, 31, 29, and 2. Um, okay. Um, yeah, okay. That, I don't really know what to make of that, but all right. <laughs> <coughs> this could be a very interesting draft, that's for sure. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Okay. LA gets the first pick. 8 and 9 want to be traded. Let's let's look at the draft. Who is where is Cooley? He's one of my targets. I would like to get the defenseman uh, Nemec. Nemec is at seven. Okay. I don't really want Seamus Casey. I would rather go David Yurichek. Yur Yur and Carter Luongo is also through there, so I'd be fine getting him. Um, not to mention a, a bit further back. It, oh no, it's just one pick later. Is Kamel, and we also know Matthew Savoy and Geeky are both. Uh, elite as well so seven eight is there anyone 15 is the next one wow that's that's a bit of a jump too let's see though so he's projected to go at eight would be logan cooley that i like that uh nemec i'd love to get but i don't know if he'll slip casey luongo uh, okay where 15 still gets me an elite because I believe Slav Slav Slavkovsky is elite. So I think what I want to do here, right? Rangers, what do you got compiled for next year, huh? What do you guys got for next year? Just your picks? Okay. What about Vancouver, huh? Just your picks. I would do all of this for second overall. You're saying no. It's going to cost you at least... What the fuck? I, sorry, guys. I don't mean to curse, but... I, I just removed picks that I didn't remove. quite close to fair value. No, that is fair value. Uh, we'll give you our fourth as well if that'll really make it make it go through. Okay. They don't want our fourth. Uh, give the Blackhawks third. Like It's not like it's going to matter a whole lot. And our fourth. Alright, this is the last trade I'm trying here. Okay. So we did a deal with Vancouver there. They are now, and they want to trade second overall as well. Ah, dude. Frustrating. Frustrating to say the least. Uh, skaters matching block. They probably, if I had to guess right. Uh, Suter in 84. Beautiful. Bergeron in 80. Bobby Brink growing as well. Fabry right there. Uh, who else are we looking at? Who else are we looking at? Oh, Bertuzzi. Why? 
Why you gotta be that low, my guy? Give me some bad skaters of yours, such as Skinner. Uh, we're gonna need another one. So give me rookie skaters here. Jones. Oh no, it didn't. <sighs> okay, it's okay. Give me Richards here. I don't like that trade. Uh, what if I, right? Just, just just a wild idea, right? What if I threw in the fifty fifth pick as well? We'll make it the fifty third. How about that? If I can get there, please. Thank you. Oh my God, they're gonna make me give up 30, 31 for this. Thirty one, Fabry and Athanasiu for Skinner, Richards, and the eighth. Are you kidding me? Okay, now I'm actually gonna start to get ticked off. I'll give you a fourth as well. A third? Come on, dude. Thank you. Okay, now we have so now we have a bunch of future picks. We have eight, we have nine. Do I try to go back up for two? Like, I don't really feel right doing that. They took him, they're gonna get Shane Wright, which is kind of ridiculous as Arizona. You know what, maybe we do that. Maybe we, let's see, what would it take? Because like, I know this is like, this is kind of like stupid to go back and trade for it, but like, I don't think that Vancouver deserves this and they kind of tick me off, so. Um, yeah. It's my first there. Rookie skaters. Uh, who would I give up? Who would I give up? Who would I give up? Uh, Forrester and York, I'd give up. How's that sound? They have more than 45 players, but this looks like it might go through. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Stevens and Plasic. Oh, no. Plasic has three years of reign. Pearson, there we go. Okay, I will throw in a second, uh, second next year. Are you serious? You don't want it? Okay, it's kind of frustrating. I actually take that back. That's really frustrating. I'll give up 55 and a future. I can't even give up that future third. We're that future third. Okay, lovely. Give up that future fourth. I did. I, I think I just got rid of it. Let's see, is there anybody else that I'm willing to trade that they want? I trade Austerle. If y'all really want him that badly, if he's gonna be the difference, like, take him. You know, uh, let's see. Two years, one year here on Costmer. Really, shocker. He's not going to be enough. Wow, wild. Who could have guessed? Oh, that's right, me. I could have guessed. Oh, geez, dude. They're going to make this so much more difficult. It's honestly, it's probably fair. I probably shouldn't do this anyway. Um, I do want 15, though. I really do. So we're going to talk to Pittsburgh. We're going to see what it what it would take to move 15 or to move for 15. Um, I would rather not give up the late first rounder if I could. Uh, just because, like, I feel like if I can figure out a way to keep it, we will be able or we will be golden. And that'll be essentially like our early second instead. Um, we're looking right. Who I would give Forrester for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, uh, forwards, let's sort by overall because I want to see what's the lineup looking like. Larkin, Raymond, Bertuzzi. I don't know how well that's going to work again. Zadina, Brown is an 85, which is interesting. Uh, definitely something to keep in mind. What? Okay. 84 for Suter. So Verana, Suter, and Zadina. Brown, Berggren, and Marchenko are actually there. Rasmussen also hanging around. So maybe we move Brown. Oh, man, maybe, maybe that's what we do. Maybe we sign Brown and then we move him. 
Oh, they got Shane Wright. What a shock. Oh, that's right. It didn't shock anyone. I still can't believe that we got that pick with Winnipeg. We got really lucky with that, but it's whatever. Uh, we'll go to draft picks. I don't want to give up a draft pick. What am I saying? Uh, skaters matching. Like I said, I will give them Osterleg because they want him. And then we'll give you rookie skaters. Rookie skaters including Forrester and... I don't think McIsaac's going to grow from being perfectly honest, but we'll keep a hold of him for now. Honka, I will throw out. Uh, and Johansson. As much as I like these guys, it doesn't look like they're going to develop. It just doesn't. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go here. Boom, bada bing, bada bum, boom, pow. Okay, I'll throw in a pick then. I'll throw in, uh, can I move like a second next year up to this? Would that be, would that be good enough if I throw a second in? That's honestly, that looks like too much. I'll throw a, the late seconds in here. That, boom, we move up to 15. Oh, I feel so good about this draft. Okay, who do, who do they go with? They go with the sniper Humphrey, looking solid, 77 elite. Lambert headed to Nashville. Okay, I actually like that fit. <coughs> Yurov, the power forward, going fifth overall there to the Ducks. Sixth. Miro. Dude, how? Looks like someone smashed the keyboard there. I have no idea how to say that name. Okay, this is the seventh pick, hopefully. Let's see. They took Logan Cooley. Okay. I don't know what to do here. Nemec is probably who we're going to... We're going to go with Nemec with the first one. Elite. Okay, that makes me feel better at least. Oh, jeez, dude. Who do I go with? Who do I go with? Do I go with Casey Luongo? Or Carter Luongo, pardon me. Or do I go with Joaquin Kamel? I feel like I could trade for Joaquin Kamel. I think oh, I think the center is probably where we got to go. He's medium elite. Oh, my God. We made out like bandits out of that. No way, dude. No way. Uh, Yeah, Seamus Casey going there. High top four. <laughs> Nashville making Arizona look stupid. You dummies. Come on now. Uh, And then Kamel going to Ottawa. We're going to try to trade for him because I really like Kamel. Savoie going there to, uh, to Columbus. And Geeky sliding to the Islanders. So it looks like we're going to get the guy that we are, is projected 15, which is Slavovsky. I, I know he's elite. Yeah, because he always is elite. Although I kind of want to go off for a trade right now for uh, Kamel. So let's go talk to them. Where they at, though? There they are. Come on, what, what's it going to take, man? Just just slap me, Kamel. <laughs> you know, just give me, give me Kamel. Kamel, come on. And Kamel, where is he? Slav Slavovsky, Slav I can't pronounce his name. So that's another reason I really want to trade you is, dude, I have no idea how to how to say that. Like, I also have no hope of being able to say that. Niederbach can be good, though. I don't want to get rid of him. Um, You know what? Straight up, would they do this? It's too far off. Um, because uh, 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 no one likes a two-way forward, like, elite player. Not really, anyway. I mean, aside from centers. Like, what two-way forward winger? Especially, like, specifically in this game. Let me put it that way. Because, like, I know that there's going to be someone in the comments. My favorite player is Ryan O'Reilly. Yeah, I get it. Okay. McIsaac. Okay. Because McIsaac probably isn't going to develop to anything. I'm happy with that, though. Um, okay. We move now. So we have a center, we have a winger, and we have a defender. Yeah, I... Dude, where do we look now? There was someone that I marked. Hang on. There was someone that I marked. I pinned him. Uh, he's 65? Or 69? Oh, no. 41. This is the one. Faith. We'll go with it. We'll go Cameron Faith. I have faith in Cameron Faith. 
low elite. We'll take it. That's fine. Pick 21, hopefully. This is around the 50s to 60s mark. Let's see. Hopefully one of those two is available. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be both of them. Do I take the goalie or do I take or the winger or do I take the defenseman? The defenseman has a chance to be medium elite. We're going to take him. Top four. That's fine. We'll take that. Uh, this one probably needs to be the goalie, if I'm being honest. Because I don't want to risk it. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, it's just we're going to just take the goalie. Medium elite. Let's go. It's looking like a really solid draft, honestly. Uh, the other player, I might. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I have anybody else there. Yeah, I don't have anybody else pinned. <coughs> Pardon me. So it doesn't look like we really know anything about anybody else. Uh, if we go to the Central Scout rankings, we're looking at the 114 mark. Every other player is projected to have an X-Factor. Yeah, that makes total sense. What about you, bud? Uh, who do we go with? Who do we go with? Bogdan's hot ass? I like it. I shouldn't have liked it. I really should not have liked that. Let's go ahead. Let's just take it. We, we, I'm... I feel very comfortable with the top end of this draft and how it's gone. However, Constitutsen, Costit, Costit, Costitsen, Jacob, uh, or Jakob, he was he fell to us. Oh, bottom six, low bottom six. That's upsetting. Can we just please get lucky with one? Give me one more pick, please. One more good pick. I swear to God, I thought I said Shrek. I thought we were about to draft Shrek. You know, actually, take it back. We're going. We're we're going to draft Shrek. Where is he at? Lawson Shrek, welcome. I don't care. I don't care. Welcome, Lawson Shrek. So happy to have you, my guy. So so happy. And you know what? I like McIver there. Jonathan McIver. Low top six. Perfect. Great way to end off the draft there. Um, yeah, you know, I'm feeling really good. I, I really like the guys that we got. I, I want to Google it real quick. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to real quick because I'd like to know, is Carter Luongo a real guy? And the thing is, I don't know. So, Carter Luongo. Prospects. No, I don't believe Carter Carter is a real dude. Um, <laughs> which is kind of funny if we're being honest. But uh, okay, the scouting. Let's take a look at the scouts. How the scouts look. Uh, I mean, the thing is that there's not going to be any scouts in the free agency that are worth pursuing at this point. So we're just going to re-sign the guys that we got. There you go. Come on. There we go. Cool. Like I said, they're not really worth pursuing. Uh, yeah, so we have quite a few guys who were 10 players from, I believe it was what it said there. So let's go ahead. Let's see what is happening. Dustin Brown wants an extension. He's 85 overall, though. Okay, that's super affordable. Uh, well, uh, my calculator, it's right here. 3.85 times 0.85, 3.3. Yeah, I. We've, we'll give you 3.5 because I really want you to, to come back. Um, Oli Mata, again, I'd really like you to come back. Three years, two point. That's definitely going to be under a mil. 2.175 times 0.85, one point. I mean, it's 1.9, 1.8, but I'm going to go 1.9. 8, 1.84. Pardon me. But I'm going to go 1.9. Uh, DeKaiser can walk, Stetcher can walk, Wallander, definitely got to sign him. Uh, I'd like to tender you, or qualify, qual I don't want to offer, no, Hiroshi, I want you back, please. 
You're going to be a key cog in the AHL team. There we go. Uh, Roney Carter, or Rowney, sorry, Carter Rowney wants a contract. That's fine. I don't mind spending a little bit of money on him. Stevens, there you go. Stepan Richards, like all of these guys for the most part can walk. Niederbach, you're going to come in for sure. Steen, there you go. Gru, there you go. And those can walk. Goalies. Grice, I would love to extend you, Grice. There you go. Boom. Uh, boom. Love that. Qualify. And the last thing we need to do is unsign. Who Who's getting a contract? Luongo. Def well, he's AHL, right? Or he's USA, right? Yeah, so he's going to get a contract from us. He'll play in the AHL. Perfect. Uh, Kamel, you'll play in the AHL. Nemec, where did you play? In Europe. Yeah, you can buy, be a bottom line guy in the AHL. Perfect. I like that. Our top three players are able to play in the AHL for us. We're going to advance a day. We'll see what we got. We'll be able to run through the roster here in a minute. Uh, scout. Scout. Grice doesn't want to come back. Rowney renewed. Brown renewed. Oli Mata renewed. Dang, okay. Calvin Picard renewed. Nemec signed. Theodore Niederbach signed. Wallander, Kamel, and Luongo all signing. Okay, uh, just a couple guys we got to take a look at again. So let's go ahead and let's take a look here. All expiring. Oli Mata. Love a three-year deal with you. We'll go. We'll go two mil for three years. How's that? Hopefully good. Um, give you one year at 1.75, guys. How about that instead? Okay. Not, no, not what I meant to hit. Advance. Come on now. Got the other scout. Got Grice. Got Mata. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I think we are ready to go to free agency. So let me go ahead, let me get a notepad out here so we can lay out the lines. So, uh, Steen renewed, Philip Larson renewed, Gru renewed. Perfect. Get my pencil, and let's get to uh, to projecting our roster. Uh, so we're going to go to, uh, we'll go to proposed trade. It's probably the best way to do it, so you can see your full roster of who's signed, who isn't. Okay, uh, we'll start at forwards. In the NHL, we got Burt, Lark, and Ray, obviously. Zadina, Suter, and Verana is still going to be the second one. And Z. And then, oh, dude, do I have to, like, okay. Rasmussen, what's your face-offs? Or do I just play you in the AHL? You're 23. I don't know how much you're going to grow, dude. That's the problem. I don't know how much he's going to grow. Oh, you know what? We'll stick him in the AHL. And we'll go Bergeron, who has, oh my god, 50 face-offs. Marchenko has 65. Brown, 65. Honestly, Rasmussen, if you have decent face-offs, 74. You can play in the NHL, sure. Uh, we're going to go Ras. With uh, Bergeron, Bergeron, and then uh, we're going to put, what's his name, Marchenko there. And then Brown will be on the bottom line. And we we need two other, four, uh, no, Rowney can play there, and Smith, that's right. And Smith, I would not be opposed, however, to replacing Bert, uh, and potentially trading away Marchenko because I don't really, I don't necessarily love him here. I don't love his fit. Uh, in the AHL, we're looking at Valeno as the top line center, and that's non negotiable. Uh, we'll put Bobby Brink on his right wing, and uh, that'll leave the second line center spot to Luongo. Hiroshi can be the Left wing for the second line. Uh, Ho Sang, hopefully. Well, because I want a sniper there. That's the thing. Um, Kamel can be on the third line with Steen. 
um, Niederbach, Gru, and X will be on the bottom line. So need Gru, and then question mark. Third line will be Kamel, uh, Steen, and or actually we'll go Steen, and we'll go Hosang, who hopefully will sign. And then we need two snipers for the forward core for the AHL, a top line and a second line. Uh, for defensemen, right, we're looking at Cider and question mark, Kronik, if I could spell that, thank you, and uh, question mark, and then Mata and Edvinson. And then we're going to play Wallander in the AHL alongside of York. So we will go Wall, York as the top pair. Uh, Lindstrom will be on the second pair. We'll have a question mark next to Lindstrom. And then Nemec and New Power will play the bottom line. Honestly, if this all works out properly, I would love to be able to trade for what is his face. You know what? Actually, I might go do that now. Let's see if we can do that. That'd be nice. Uh, not who I meant to go to. Ottawa. Is this who I traded him to? Oh, there's, there he is, McIsaac. We'll trade for McIsaac, and then we'll play McIsaac on that second pairing. We'll be golden, because they don't really need defensemen, if we're being perfectly honest with ourselves. And I kind of like it. I'm fine trading him there. It's okay with me. And hot ass, as much as he has a cool name, kind of let me down. Uh, do I have anybody else to trade? I don't think so. We will look to trade a future fourth. Sure. McIsaac, there you go. Cool. So McIsaac, our defensive core for the AHL, figured out, already done. Uh, oh, and the last thing I didn't do is goalies. I forgot. So if I could pull that up, please. Goalies. It's going to be Ned and Grice, Picard. Hopefully, Kosa is able to go. That's what it is. So, Ned, Grice, Picard, and Kosa, hopefully. All righty. Um, to be honest with you, I think there are a couple positions I'd like to improve. Potentially trading away Suter, uh, depending on who's in the, who's in the thing. Um, potentially trading away Burt, like... We'll just we'll see who's where, and I, I just know that there's some moving pieces, some pieces that are not as set in stone as they potentially uh, would be otherwise. That being said, this this looks like a really good class. RFA, dang. Okay, uh, Forsberg is not though. He wants nine million for seven years. That's you're not getting that out of me. Bobby Ryan's an eighty-six. Oh, Bobby, you've re, re, uh, it invigorated, reinvigorated, I think it is. Reinvigorated your career, man. I'm really happy for you. I love Hampus Lindholm. We're going to offer him a deal. Uh, we'll go 6.5, and you can be the second pairing guy. That's the thing. I want you to be a second pairing guy, because if we're going to be a cup contending team, I want a guy like a, like a Latang or a, a Yandel to be that top guy. I think we're going to go with, uh, we'll give you this, but we'll give you 9 mil. How about that? Latang will be our top defenseman alongside of Cider. It'll be good, I think. I, I do. Um, what else do we need exactly? We need AHL players, I believe, are the next things. Yeah, AHLers. So uh, we'll sort by overall, which I already have. We'll go down to like 83, eh, even lower, honestly. I'll go to 80. We'll Dezingle, uh, we need a sniper, low-rated sniper. 25, Svechnikov, how that works out, huh? Uh, yeah, we'll sign you. You're going to play on the top line with uh, with Vol Voleno and Brink. Grimaldi here. You can play on the second line.
Oh my god, is he... Okay. There we go. You can play on the second line. Uh, and do I need anybody else? No, I don't think so. Um, but I do really want to look at the forward, the forward group here. Because there's some interesting pieces. Um, I don't... What the, Vincent Trocek's interesting. For sure. Why did I do that? I... Kachuk is really entertaining to me. Hmm. Let's see. What would it take to be able to get Kachuk out of there? I wonder if they want to trade him. If they want to trade him, it would be interesting because I think Burt could go for him. And that could be a really, really fun group to have there. <laughs> Why did I go too far? <coughs> Jeez. They do not want to trade him. So there's no way we're going to be able to pull that off without giving up way too much. Um, so we're going to go back to free agency here. We'll see. Ah, do, we, do I give Bert a second chance? And do I not play, like, do I play Rass in the AHL? And sign, like, a third line center? Like, someone who's way too good for the third line? <laughs> like, like run Patrice Bergeron at third line center? Why? Jeez. Um... I'm thinking about it. I really am. Or even like Hurdle, but on a one one year, ten point five million dollar deal. Jesus Christ, dude, he's asking for so much for no apparent reason. Um, because he's gonna be playing with Bergren, playmaker, Marchenko, sniper, who I might trade. So maybe I do that. Maybe I assign two forwards. I move Bert down. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Well, yeah, because we'll sell if we're not super competitive uh, and if we are ooh, almost slipped there guys my bad um but who who is that that's the thing i like strom here 5.5 give you a two-year 5.5 million dollar deal you can then roam as our third line center and then we will yeah uh will you, we need a third line left wing or a first line left wing that's the that's that's the tricky line, the tricky balance that we're trying to pull off here. You have X Factor, right? Vincent Trocek fits our first line since when, dude? Why? Why does he fit our first line? Second line hurdle. Hmm. That's the other thing. We need to change coaches. I just real I forgot about that entirely. But we do need to do that for sure, for sure. Um Stasny could be interesting to play there as well. We'll sign Stasny. Uh, and I think we're going to trade uh, Suter. We're going to capitalize on him. We'll trade him uh, for someone. We'll trade him for like some second pick or second round picks. Or maybe a first round pick if we can get it. I just don't think we're going to get anything for Burt. That's the problem. But you know what? Maybe, maybe a role in the third line is what he needs, you know? So maybe like a two year ah uh, no, there's no way, dude. There's no way. His like We'll give Malkin a contract. Okay, we have thirty mil. I need to be a little bit more intelligent than this. Um let's go we're gonna just go to approached. Uh thir so eighteen mil out of those two. Plus six point five we're looking at 24, 29, Staz, oh man, we might just barely not be able to afford this, so I might need to open up just a hair bit of cap space, like, you know, roughly a PS Suter contract. Um, once we sign a couple of them, which we should, then I will trade Suter, because I really don't want to get rid of him yet. The thing is, is that if you're Suter, do you really want to stay here for this? Stasny went somewhere else anyway. Svechnikov accepted, good. Rocco Grimaldi accepted. Lindholm accepted. Ryan Strom went elsewhere. Latang accepted. Malkin accepted. So I just went all that without doing the coach. That's upsetting. Let's see if there is a better coach. Please be a better coach. Please, 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 please. Okay, there's one NHL head coach that's worth something. 40%. He doesn't... No. No, the answer's going to be no. I 
thought I had... Okay, I thought I had uh, Franz Nielsen somewhere, but guess not. So, i got to figure out how to set up this team now. Because we didn't get either one of the centers. So, forwards by rating. We're looking at Malkin, Larkin, and Raymond. Zadina, Su or Zadina, Verana, and I guess Suter for now. And then Bert, Bergren, we need two centers. We still need two centers. Because I don't want to play Rasmussen in the NHL. I don't. Um, so hang on. Let me go ahead. Let me edit the lines here that I have written down. Svetch. Uh, this is going to be Ras. Sorry, guys. I know this is probably taking way longer just because I'm writing it down on paper. And it's a lot easier for me to remember it. I would like a center sniper. Maybe I just move Suter down. Maybe that's what we do. Find one center, move Suter down to the third line. <coughs> but, like, Jeff Carter's the only guy who, who could potentially fill that void. Uh, and we we have the money. We could do that. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do, I think. I think we're going to go Jeff Carter here. One year. There we go. Cool. Uh, sounds good. So now we're looking at, hopefully, Carter with Verona and Su uh, Zadina. And then Suter with Bergren and Bertuzzi. Oh, I do need, I forgot something. I do, in fact, need to look at, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and go to RFAs, because like, I'd rather just get this over with. Uh, Hosang, please just sign the freaking deal, my guy. Malgin, there you go, or Malgin, I'm not sure. There you go. Uh, so now we're going to look at UFAs. I want to look at, actually, forwards, uh, two-way contracts. Uh, we're looking for a two-way forward here. And it's not looking too great. We'll just go to all, and we'll, we'll go down to like the 70s or the 80s. Geeky. I'm going to offer you a contract just because, like, be interesting. Oh, I don't. Okay. Maybe next year, Geeky, maybe. We'll sign Gagne again, that's what we'll do. Boom, Sam Gagne, you can be on the fourth line for us. This could be nice, this could be really nice. But we gotta see, um, gotta see what the goal is here. Okay, cool. Give me some contract accepted. Sam Gagne, Josh Hosang, Dennis Malgin. It's all fine, the guy that I need is Jeff Carter though. Jeff Carter, there we go. Okay, did not mean to do that. But you know what? We'll go ahead. We'll keep it in. Why not? And we got to get rid of all this stuff so that I can simulate to the regular season. Come on. There we go. And we got one more to clear. Surplus. Jeez, dude, this takes so long. Like, there should just be a clear all trade block button. There really should be. Because, like, no one... I don't think there's... I've never met a single franchise mode player who actually uses this. Like, how it's meant to be used. Like, it, it just... It doesn't make sense. Anyways, those got. Anyway, those got. Anyway, though, guys. I'm going to see you all when we're getting ready to start the season, and I'll show you the lines. So, I'll talk then. Tarharosi accepted right after I said that too. Perfect. Stevens accepted as well.
don't include this name. Leno is ready though.
Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, do I have one heck of a roster to show you guys. Oh boy, this is interesting. Trust me. The development went exceptionally well. So this is what the AHL team is looking like. Steen, Brink, and Svechnikov hoping to be able to get Bobby Brink up there in overall. Potentially, uh, you know, maybe maybe we see him make an NHL roster into next year. I don't know. Luongo, the first round pick or ninth overall pick from this past draft, he is currently chilling as the second line center alongside his fellow draftee, Kamel, along with Arosi. Okay, the third line is uh, Gru and Niederbach uh, with Hosang. And then the old guys are kind of bringing up the bottom line. I know what you guys are thinking, you know. You know where's Valeno? Where's he at? We'll get there. We will. York and Lindstrom here. New power, McIsaac, Vero, and Nemec. The defensive core is not elite by any means. However, however, they are doing fairly solid, especially because these two can develop. We have high top six and medium elite. Uh, then we go to the goaltender situation, which is where I'm actually kind of getting worried. Uh, instead of Philip Larson, I did, forgot to do this earlier, we're going to put in Kosa. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually starting to get kind of worried. I'd like to see him grow up to at least an 80, or at 70, excuse me. Uh, okay, so that's what the top line is looking, or this is what the AHL is looking like. Steen ended up playing on the first line because he matches it really well. Um, but let's get to the NHL because it's really entertaining. Malkin, Larkin, and Raymond. Okay, it's a plus two. It looks really good, I'm not going to lie. The second line, exactly the same. Um... Jeff Carter just doesn't fit very well. He doesn't. Uh, but here's the real surprise. Rasmussen up to 81. Valeno, 82. And Berggren, 82. I love this third line. I think this could be really good for us. Uh, and so I think that we're going to roll with them here. And this is probably the best fourth line you're going to see in hockey with Bertuzzi, Brown, and Rowney. I want to give Bertuzzi a chance uh, to potentially get some, you know, get, get up there uh, and potentially get his trade value back up. Uh, we're going to give him plenty of power play and penalty kill time. Don't you worry about that. On defense, Lindholm and Sider, Latang and Edvinson, who was up to an 85. Wallander ended up being good enough for the AHL, or NHL, which was interesting. Oli Mata also being there for chemistry reasons. So that leaves Marchenko, Carter, and Hironik as people who need to be traded. Um, unfortunately, Jeff Carter I feel really bad about because we kind of told the guy that he was going to be an NHL player for us and potentially a second-line center. It just didn't work out, you know, um, which is really sad. But uh, I think that you guys could understand. So I think we're going to go out. We're going to see what we can get for him. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's go ahead. Let's look at uh, our draft situation for this next upcoming year. Vancouver's pick, our pick, a second. So we need a third and first. That w That's what we're looking for. Let's look at the trade value of the players that we're going to be trading out we can get over there thank you uh we're looking at where is he faith has quite a bit of value for a low elite um see bertuzzi's value is going up a little bit where is he geez they're low down here Hronik, carter and marchenko i mean this is 11 million dollars in cap that's moving so like it'll be interesting to see who is willing to take it on I would love to be able to get a first and a third. That is the ideal return for me. Um, maybe two thirds. I don't know. You know, let's see. Potentially. Rejected. Consider taking Jeff Carter. Cool. Uh, I don't remember saying just Jeff Carter, though. You know, it's funny you all mentioned that. How about that? How would I get rid of a third? I don't even know if this goes through, if I'm being honest. It doesn't. Oh, man, dude. Uh, what else could we throw in? Well, you know what? No, we're going to go to a team that wants them and wants to give up picks. However, that might be really hard to find someone who can afford it. Oh, geez. Okay, Ottawa is pretty close. Ottawa might be able to do this. I don't know what their situation looks like here. First, second, and third. It's league approved. Get rid of the second. I don't want to do that, though. I want more. Mm, this is frustrating. I think Arizona's first is going to be the best thing we can get. And we'll see if we can acquire a third some other way. Oh, no, that was that was rejected. I forgot. Uh, rookie goalies. I don't want to give up. Oh, yeah, we do have that other elite guy, but I don't really want to give him up. 
Um, who else would I throw in here? I could throw in Kostitsin. I believe it's Kostitsin and Shrek. Throw in these two guys. How about that? Okay, fine. We'll throw in a future third. Wherever the next future, wherever the next third round pick is, we will throw it in. We might be here a while. There it is. Throw in that third. How's that sound? Oh my god, they're going to make me give up a second. Way future second for your first, please. Are you kidding me? Okay, nope. Ottawa it is. Ottawa, where you at? There you are. Ottawa. Projected, that's fine. Pretty sure it's the bottom one, if we're being real. There's a third. How about that? Oh my gosh, don't make me, don't make me do this, please. Just a second. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like we're not going to be getting as much as I'd hoped, which is frustrating. Yay! No, very upset. Um, I could see them doing well here in Arizona, so about a second. And I, I won't take your second. I'll get Florida's second. Your third and New York's third. How's that sound? With just those two. Accepted. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. A second and a third. That's a solid return. So the last thing we have to give away now, or trade away, pardon me, is Jeff Carter. I don't know what the going rate for him is. We're going to hope it's a second round pick from a contender. If anyone can afford him, that is. Let's see here. Uh, nope. Okay, maybe this could work if they could give me like someone. Um, all skaters, someone on like a million for one year. How's that sound? Two mil. Ooh, ooh, Salo. Robin Salo. Top four potential, second round pick. Uh, problem is I don't know where to play him then. Brett Kulak, do I just, we should take like Brett Kulak and put him in the AHL. We might. Um, we had Richard Panik. No, we'll grab Richard Panik again. They're still over the maximum salary cap, so it's going to have to be someone more expensive. That is frustrating, but it's whatever, you know. Um, well, screw it. We'll add Kulak. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to want, I, obviously you don't have your third. So I want your second. Oh my God, it's Pittsburgh second, who's really poor. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, give me, give me next year's third and a fourth. How's that? Fine, just the third. Okay, a cool, Kulak and a third for Carter. We'll take that. Um, so that's what the uh, that's that's what the roster is looking like heading into the year number two. Uh, and just to go ahead and do this because I know that I'm gonna be really really curious otherwise. Let's take a look. And there he is, Matvey Michkov. This man is our target this year. He is our target. Obviously, if we get Bedard or Dvorsky, assuming that he's franchise. Um, That'll be fine, but we'll we'll be looking to trade because I want Mitchkov. I really do. I really want Mitchkov. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, to smack that like button. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next one. See you guys later. Peace out and goodbye.